Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of slope of similar right triangles. This is standard 8.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 15 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got two triangles here. They are similar. And we need to find a proportion that shows that the slopes are equal. But you know what? That is also very evident here because they are sharing this same line for both hypotenuses. So how do we show that as a proportion? Well, what do we know about slope? Well, the slope, remember our uh, little saying is rise over run. So we know it's the change in y over the change in x. If you want to get technical, it's your two y coordinates subtracted from each other, your two x coordinates subtracted from each other. How do we show the change in y? Look at our, our answers here just have lines. They don't have any actual coordinates. We could map these coordinates even though some of them like this L right here and K looks like they're in between, like a six and a seven, but our answers aren't in that, so we need to just do it with lines. Well, how do we show the change in Y? Well, look, change in Y, well, that's gonna be, it's a vertical line, all right? So we could use these vertical lines to show the change in Y. And then change of X, well, that could be a horizontal line, left and right. So we've actually got some horizontal lines. Okay, so we can actually show it with side lengths here. So what we don't really need are these hypotenuses right here, because that doesn't show the change in, in X or the change in Y. That just actually just shows a diagonal. So that's really not what we're looking for. So now we know what we're looking for. So KL is a vertical line, so that's my change in Y. LM is horizontal, that is my change X, that looks good. That's both in the small triangle. So let's see if we can find the same thing in the big triangle. PR, vertical line, change of Y. RS, horizontal line, all right, that's looking good. That's from the big triangle, this is my small, it's my big. I'm thinking that's it, but I might be wrong, so let's keep going. RS, uh, well, look at that, that's already a problem. RS is horizontal. It's a change in X. I need my change in Y. That's how you so sh show slope. And yeah, look at SP. That's just a hypotenuse. Okay, so we're just going to not look at B. That's not it. Let's look at C. ML. All right, once again, it's not really what I'm looking for. It's a change in X. Uh, LK. It's a change in Y. They're both small, right? I bet you the other one's going to be fine like that too. Actually, no, look at this. Look at this SP. The C has got the hypotenuse over RP. So not only, not only does it not work because I need my change in Y to be my numerator. Look, they can't even match these two up. They have the the numerator as the change in X in one and then the hypotenuse in the other. And obviously those two would need to match if we wanted to make this a proportion that actually worked. So that's not going to work. Let's look at D. So I've got PS not starting out well. That is my hypotenuse. And that's in my large one. I've got my PR, which is my change in Y. If anything, I would want my change in X down there, even though it's still not going to work. What do I have over here? KM is a hypotenuse. At least it matches up because we've got large to small, hypotenuse to hypotenuse, and then KL. All right, so at least this is, this is a decent proportion. It matches up the hypotenuses from large to small. It matches up the change in Y from large to small. Fortunately, it's still not what we need because we found it in A, right? We needed the change in Y over the change in X, and then it goes between the small and the big. So our answer here is definitely A.